Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're navigating the tricky world of patents, you know how challenging it can be to get your application through. Today, we're breaking down four winning strategies to craft an effective patent response that can make all the difference. Let's dive in. First up, let's talk about the point of novelty. This is the core of what makes your invention unique. Your patent needs to protect this specific feature. If your response doesn't highlight this point, even if you win the arguments, your patent might not be valuable. Point to these benefits in the application when you respond to the office action. Then, the examiner won't think that you're making up arguments after the fact. You had it all along. Next, align your arguments with the claim language. Your arguments should directly address the claims of your patent. Otherwise, the examiner will ignore your arguments. Now, one reason that your arguments aren't related to the claim language is what we call the broadest reasonable interpretation, also known as the BRI standard. Under the BRI standard, terms can be interpreted very broadly. You might be presenting arguments narrowly, but the examiner is reading the claims broadly. If so, it's easy for the examiner to argue that your claims don't match your arguments and ignore them. One way to figure out if you are reading your claims too narrowly is to assume that you are wrong and the examiner is correct. Ask yourself, how can I change my understanding to come up with the same conclusion as the examiner? By doing this, you can understand how the examiner is reading your claims under the BRI standard and make the appropriate adjustments. Now, if you need help, feel free to give me a call. Strategy number three. Keep a positive relationship with the examiner. Effective communication can really impact your application's success. The examiner holds a lot of power. They hold the keys to whether you get a patent or not. If issues arise with the examiner, there's always ways to get their supervisor involved. You can request an after final interview instead of trying to complain your way through the issues. Lastly, don't underestimate the power of an examiner's interview. This is where you and the examiner talk through the issues over the phone or on a web conference. These interviews are a chance to clarify details and address misunderstandings. When you do talk to them, prepare thoroughly, use your response as a talking point agenda, and make the most of your 30-minute window. You'd be surprised how often misunderstandings are cleared up in these discussions. Implementing these strategies can significantly boost your chance of success in the patent process. If you're struggling with your patent application or need more guidance, please feel free to call me. We're here to help you get the best results. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more patent tips and updates. See you next time.